equation of a circle today, okay? So, uh, the circle chapter, uh, chapter 8 on page 126, okay? Now, guys, the only format that's in your tables is this one here. It's uh, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. hk is the uh, center of the circle and r is the radius, okay? So, what we can see from, let's say, the first question three, right? So, for question three, the radius is three. The center is zero, zero. So if you make a list, h equals zero, k equals zero, r equals five. Plug in your numbers. x minus zero squared plus uh, y minus zero squared equals five squared. And then what's going to happen next is uh, we're going to get x squared plus y squared equals 25. And that's the equation of your circle. All right. Okay. Now, what does this actually mean regards uh, drawing it out? So, if you're actually asked to draw this circle out, all what you realistically need to do is you can you can find any point you want. You can say when x equals one, what does y equal? When x equals zero, what does y equal? So, for example, when x equals zero, what's y squared equal to? Twenty-five. Y therefore is plus or minus five. So that'd be one, two, three, four, five. Now mind you, you weren't asked to draw it. I'm just showing you how to draw it. Uh, then go down five. That's your two points there. Would you agree with that? Zero five and zero minus five. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, same deal. Opposite way around with y equals zero. X squared equals twenty five x equals plus or minus 5. In realistic, you're just going the radius in all directions. 5 in every direction. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then all that you need then is just to draw yourself a... Uh, you get your... What's it? Your, your, your compass. Compass out. And then fancy stuff here, you know. So just, you know, I have to draw one of these, I hope, at this stage. Here's just TJ, anybody? Yeah, uh, follow them, whatever more or less sorted. So there you go. That's all that done there, right? So that's how you draw one of them. Now, the next way they can get you is by, by doing, giving you the same question, but just giving you less information. So an example of a question like that would be uh, number 12. Uh, where did one? Okay. we can see. Now, what you have here guys is uh, the next one, okay, will be example of number 12. Uh, do this equation of the circle here, is that it contains the point 0, minus 3. So once again, I know that the center is 0, 0. So if I was to draw uh, a quick diagram, we know that it's, uh, we know that it's 0, 0, which is here. And it goes to zero minus three, which is uh, zero minus three is down here. What's the radius? Three. So you can just say. Uh, sorry. Radius be three because of uh, it's three in every direction. Oh, that doesn't work. That doesn't work either. Okay. So uh, we we get that to radius of uh, three. Okay, so what I have to do next is I have to uh, put into the formula, so it'll be x plus x minus zero squared, y minus zero squared equals three squared, x squared plus y squared equals uh, nine. Is that right? Now, uh, if you had a point like uh, minus five, twelve, or one minus five, what would you have to do instead? Zero. You'd have to do the coordinate geometry formula for a. You'd have to do what's a one minus five, so one down minus five down, so one minus five would be here. The radius of that circle would be from here to here, and then actually going about drawing this circle would be uh, from. Where is it? There we go. 
B doesn't like there is so something like that okay so that's the circle there all right now what we have here guys is that uh, you'd have to find out the length of this radius I might suggest a formula for finding that length of the line length of the line or Pythagoras whichever one you want Pythagoras might be slightly quicker would it yeah. uh, five down one across so five down one across find x uh, x squared equals five squared plus one squared x squared equals squared 26 so once again use the same form as last time x minus zero squared plus y minus zero squared equals r squared which is root 26 squared x squared plus y squared equals 26 you happy enough with that very easy stuff starting off okay now uh, next uh, question on we have uh, we're given the formula and we need to translate the formula into uh, information so in this question I'm also it says write down the length of the circle but I'm also going to add in I also want the center of the circle as well okay so here's how you go about uh, doing this Just move that there so what we're going to do is we'll start off with a really easy one like number uh, 16 okay so in number 16 what you have is a uh, x squared plus y squared equals 100 now if I compare that directly to this formula here the first thing I can tell you is that r squared equals 100 okay therefore r equals 10 <coughs> The second thing I can tell you is that there's no brackets around this x, which means that this number here has to be zero. <coughs> there's no brackets around the y, which means that this number here also has to be zero. So what we're looking at there is that this is going to be h is zero, k is zero, so it's an answer of zero, zero, and r equals 10, All right? Very, very easy question. Where it gets difficult, is when it doesn't give you x squared plus y squared but it gives you something like uh, 16 squared and it doesn't give you x squared plus y squared well that's really easily fixed anyways make a suggestion how do we turn this into x squared plus y squared divide by 16 on both sides okay so remember if you divide if you have a balanced equation which is balanced and you divide by the same number both sides it doesn't affect the balance of that equation divide by 16 both sides and what you get here is this here then you write your equation directly underneath and then once you've done that you, you translate that h equals zero k equals zero that means your center is zero zero and then finally oh wait oh you've made one that's r squared so now we know that r squared equals 1 16th so r therefore equals the square root of 1 over 16 r equals 1 over 4 happy enough with that uh, so yeah, how are you getting k equals 0 k equals 0 uh, 16 x 16 y but I see what you've done there by dividing by 16 it just means they have a center of 0 0 uh, let me see because this formula uh, when you square that out, it has, it, if you were to square that out, okay, it would be an x squared, 1x squared, all right? So anytime, to use the equation of a circle, I always have to have 1x squared, 1y squared to compare it directly to the formula in green. So anytime I see a question like 21, I'm going to divide it by 4, because I'm not, I can't compare 4x squared directly to x, so I have to divide it. Okay. So, uh, yeah, so I have to make them look like the first uh, questions 15 to 20. So by doing that, I just need to, whatever number comes in front of the x and y squared, divide by it. And then it makes it look like the other questions we've already done, the easier ones. Uh, yeah, chapter 2, uh, exercise 2. Okay. Uh, now, anybody suggest how to go about doing this one? Won't be too long on it. Just have a read while I set up my diagram. So, I want the length of that line. Oh. So, what did you say? Yeah, yeah. 
Perfect, right? I won't, I won't go about doing it too much. I'll just uh, tell you how, how to do it. It's more or less uh, you, you just have a diagram here, right? And yet, you, you, what Simon's saying is that you have two points. Your first point is minus six, minus one, which is uh, six across. What's that? Six. That's seven across. Six across, one down. It's just over here. And then the other one is uh, six, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, and one. Now, there's one thing I would have to verify before anything else. I have to verify that the middle is zero, zero. So you do the midpoint formula, wouldn't you? Verify that it's zero, zero. It is. You can almost check it out by your eyesight that it is. So your midpoint is zero, zero. That verifies that H and K are both equal to zero. And then find the equation with uh, a, B as a diameter, so uh, you find the distance between the two of these, half it, and then put it into the equation of a circle. Anybody have any problem with that one? Yes? Um, how, uh, how with the midpoints, it would work every time. Only for, only for chapter exercise one questions, it has to be zero, zero. For exercise two questions, I could have a circle over here, Connor. And it could be the midpoint could be for the looking circle, but it would only be if the points were completely opposite each other on the circle. Because if you got these points that weren't opposite, it wouldn't give you the middle. Uh, no, not necessarily. I'll show you. What, I'll show you how. Uh, you get six minus one, and it's still on the circle, but the midpoint wouldn't be. Oh yeah, the midpoint won't be the center of the circle. Yeah. Uh, so it has to be A, B as a diameter, you're right. Specifically for a diameter, you're right. It has to be the opposite. Okay. But I could have a question where I say these two points are on the circle. They're not the diameter, but they're on the circle, and then in that case, it'd be different. Uh, yeah, we're good. Next one, whatever that may be. Okay, this is a this is a. Uh, anybody suggest? I'm gonna just freeze this for a second. Anybody suggest how to go about doing this one? Will I get my diagram, my grid back up? Any suggestions? Sorry. It's from 16. Anybody remember the word translation? Yeah, it goes through where it goes a certain distance. Okay, it goes a certain distance and it's also called uh, central symmetry in the origin. So let me explain. Uh, I'll just give you a brief oversight of axial symmetry and central symmetry while we're here. Okay. Uh, over here, sorry, more so. Uh, what we have is, I'll just quickly go about axial symmetry and central symmetry, right? So, uh, central symmetry, if I pick any random point, for example, uh, 3, 2, central symmetry would be where you go, you, this is your, your middle point, you travel 2 down, 3 across, 2 down, 3 across gives you central symmetry. Yeah. It doesn't always have to be in the origin either. I could have a point up here. And central symmetry in that one is across tree, up four, and then across tree, up four. That's central symmetry in this point here. So you can see that central symmetry will work anyway. Now, another thing about tree two, if I say axial symmetry in the x-axis, what happens? Which drops down to three minus two. Axial symmetry in the y-axis? Minus three two. So look, you remember that from uh, junior set of obstacle, right? So there's a couple of tricks there. Now that that's uh, dealt with, okay, what we have is uh, find the coordinates of the other extremity of the same diameter. It's six minus three, one, two, three, four, five, six, three down. And all we have to do is travel six across, three up, and then another six across to here, three up. And now we have our uh, diameter. <coughs> uh, what you do once you get your diameter, Anybody tell me? Yeah, you get the distance formula using either Pythagoras' theorem or the... What's the other way down it? Wait a minute. I didn't count that right. I did five, I didn't do six. No. Now, it's there, sorry. So, uh, what we have here, guys, is... Uh, our, it's just slightly off, okay? But uh, we have our two points here. They're on the circle and we just get our distance from here to here half it to get the radius then you use your x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared and you just pull all your numbers in h is zero and k is yeah. zero everybody right with that 
Okay, and you're using the length of the line form from junior Sarah Thames, opposite the geometry chapter. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, as you said there, like it's an extremity of the circle. But does that mean that it has it's the other extremity? It has to be on the circle. Uh, on the uh, on the outer line. On the outer line, so okay. here would be one of them and then the yeah, other one. You know that that's it goes through the origin. Just because of the exercise. Extremity would be uh diameter basically. Yeah, but how do you know it goes through origin? How do you know it goes through zero zero? How do you know zero zero? Uh, same zero. diameter. Center of the circle. Same diameter. Any point linking to the other extremity of the diameter has to go through the center of a circle. Yeah, but how do you know the center is zero zero? In this question, do you only... Uh, it's it's more always in the center. Oh, sorry. This here. That equation. Oh, okay. So, uh, if I compare that equation to this here. I know that the... Actually, as it turns out, all I need to do is find the coordinates of the other extremity. So I automatically knew that because there's no, because there's nothing in this beside it. Uh, an example of an example of an equation of a circle that hasn't got a center zero zero would be this. This is an example of an equation that hasn't got zero zero uh, as a, as a center. So what you do this time around is you look at h two. So that means the center of this circle will be 2. And then you go plus 3 is minus k. Therefore, k is minus 3. And the radius of this one would be 5. So you can see that the ones that have, the ones that's x squared and y squared, it's always 0, 0. But ones that have brackets, that's not the case. Okay. So if I was to give you another example like this, could any of you tell me what the center of the circle and radius of this one is? Zero plus three. Zero what? Zero plus three. Yeah. And the radius? Radius? Six. So I think you're getting the gist of that quite quickly, all right? So. Uh, that's basically how we go about doing that one. Uh, uh, the key with this one, Frank, is that you know that the center is zero, 0, and you know that 0 0.6 minus 3 uh, it should be on the circle. And because it says what well, the coordinates of the other extremity, keyword same diameter, means you got to go straight through your center and circle out the other side. So can you just find the radius of that point and then just double instead of finding the whole one? Oh no, the question is just basically find the find the other coordinates. We didn't have to do anything else. Alright, so you literally can just use it by eyesight and get the answer. Yeah, or yeah, by just what's called a translation. Uh, six across three up, six across three up. Yeah. But pretty much by eyesight. Okay. Uh, these ones are right, these ones are slightly different. Can anybody explain to me what a tangent is? I mean, no, it's it's this. Circle at one point. What? Just a circle at one point. All right. Well, we're here. What is uh, the name of a line that doesn't cut a circle at only one point? There's two different types of. Uh, there's one there, and there's one here. One of them's called a chord, and the other one's called a tangent. So you'll need to know that, right? This is what's called a chord. This one here is called a tangent. Now. To solve this, okay, oh, ah, yeah. remember this now. Can I win the class uh, in your in your tables? Does a, do you remember there's a formula in this is no, this is last year, right? Where you have a point and you have a line, and it tells you the fair, it tells you the distance from the point to the line. It's I think it's this d equals the modulus of ax1 plus by1 plus c all lower the square root of a squared plus b squared. So we just verify that for me? That's right, yeah. Yeah? Uh, geometry. Yeah. And say per perpendicular distance? Yeah. So distance. Yeah, distance to a line. Okay, so distance of a point to a line. Okay. Now, what's going to happen here, guys, is that the center of the circle in all these questions is guaranteed, isn't it? It's guaranteed to be 0, 0 which is this here, and then you're, you want to find out what the, uh, the distance is going down. And this distance will tell me what, guys? 
Moradius. And please remember the whole point of this is to find the equation of a circle. So you're going to use this formula every time. We know that h is zero, we know that k is zero. The only thing we need to find out is what the radius is. Okay, so to find the radius, we're going to use uh, which question I'm even doing at the moment. I'll do number 33 for the last one, alright? So uh, a equals 1, b is whatever comes in front of y, 2, c is what comes last, okay? And then what we're going to get is that d equals uh, 1 times, now what is x1? Sorry? Oh. Yeah, yeah, you're right, it's the, it's the center of the circle. Okay, so a times 0 plus uh, b times 0 plus c, which is minus 10. Please remember it's modulus, so it means it's going to be plus 10. All over the square root of uh, 1 squared plus 2 squared. Uh, that's going to be d equals 10 over root 5. Can somebody tell me what 10 over root 5 is in the calculator? Two root five. That's perfect. Okay. So our radius is uh, two root five. Just please uh, make a note of this equation. Besides th these questions on the board, and just please remember that uh, x one y one is the zero zero. Okay. Now that we have that done, what we're going to be doing next is. Uh, What we're going to be doing next is we're going to be using the equation of a circle formula. So we're going to have x minus 0 squared plus y minus 0 squared equals uh, 2 root 5 to be squared. Then we're going to have x squared plus y squared equals 50. Alright? Not 50, 20. What we get here guys is uh, we have these, we have question 29, okay, and with 29 you have a center of 0, 0 because it says it in the question, otherwise you wouldn't know. Center 0, 0. 0, 0 represents two things, it represents the hk is 0, and in this distance formula here, it represents the x1 and the y1, okay. The distance formula tells you the distance from any point it's perpendicular distance from any point to any line, provided it gives you the points and provided it gives you the equation of the line. The line is here. So the general formula for lines, it's AX plus BY plus C equals zero. Whatever comes in front of the X is A. Whatever comes in front of the B is uh, uh, in front of the Y is B. And whatever comes last is C. Once you've done that, you enter into your distance formula. Which is going to be 4 times 0 plus uh, 1 times 0 minus 17 all over the square root of 4 squared plus 1 squared. You're going to get uh, this modulus sign here, the two big lines, mean take the positive value on top, so it's going to be 17 divided by root 17 equals uh, d. 17 divided by root 17 is root 17. So the radius or the perpendicular distance from this point to this line is root 17. Once you've done that you need to go to your equation of a circle formula because that's what's asking you to get. And once you've done that you're going to get a x minus 0 x minus 0 squared plus y minus 0 squared equals root 17 squared x squared plus y squared equals 17 and that's your done.